session plan for us today. It's gonna be about 32 minutes of work. It's all focused on lower body movements and it's minimal to no impact today, okay? So let's go ahead and start our warm up. We're gonna start with that knee drive up and hip rotation out. Knee drive up and hip rotation. Tighten up that core, pull those shoulders down and back and start connecting with your body in the warm up. Remember, we're never just going through the motions. We're always trying to connect with our body to get the most out of the movement, okay? Give me a couple more. Two, last one here. Let's go directly into toe touches, straight down, squeeze those glutes. As you come to the top, kind of slightly pushing those hips forward. Give me two more. And one, let's step it out slightly. Hips are about hip, our feet hips. Feet are about hip distance apart. Let's drop it down into that squat, bring it up, squeeze the glutes. Weight stays back in your heels here. Think about that form on your squat. Coming to at least 90. All right, these next few reps, we're gonna drop it all the way down. So let's go all the way down. Sit low, bring it up. Sit low, bring it up. Give me two more reps like this. Sit low, up, last one, and up. All right, let's take it into some big, Alternating kicks up. Big kick. One more on each leg. Big kick. Big kick. All right, now we're going to kick it back through our heel. Alternate legs. Squeeze that loop. Kick through the heel. Tighten up the core. Two, one, let's take it into some lateral kick out. So lift and lift. Pulling the toes in towards the face with that flexed foot and that leg is locked out as you kick out. Two, and one, let's go ahead and step it wide. We're gonna take it into a lateral lunge. We're gonna take that opposite hand and reach for the outside of that foot. Bring it up, switch sides, reach for the outside of the foot. Give me one more on each side. Nice, step it in. Let's just take it into some calf raises. I like to put my hands on my hips. That helps me with my balance. Bring it up onto the toes. Squeeze the calves as you bring it up. Try to get that blood pumping all through our legs. Get those muscles nice and warm. Two, one. All I want you to do is turn your toes in. Heels are out and let's go. Calf raise up just like that. Three, two, one. One more set of these. Let's go heels together, toes are out, and calf raise. Ooh. Waking them up, waking them up. Two, one. All right, walk that off, walk that off. A little jog in place or a little quick march in place. Nothing too aggressive. Just get that blood pumping. In three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start our workout now. You guys, if you need any additional time to warm up, pause it, take that time, listen to your body, okay? So today we're gonna be alternating between some 30 second moves, they're gonna be pretty intense with some 60 second moves and our rest is also varied. So you're gonna stay with me today, okay? I've got my timer set. Here we go. We've got a 15 second count in. Move one is a multi-step lunge. One leg at a time. So you're in that lunge, you're gonna pick it up, step in, 
step out. That is your move, okay? Here we go, you guys. Let's go. Now, if the step is too aggressive for you, you can stay in this position and just give me a little pulse, okay? This first move is 30 seconds. There will be no rest whenever we switch legs. Let's go, quick switch. Awesome job, you guys. Today is gonna burn. Ooh. Rest. All right, we're gonna go into a kickback. One leg at a time It's gonna be a high kickback. So we're gonna kick through the heel, pulsing high, okay? So let's go, one leg at a time. Through the heel, squeeze that glute. Awesome job, you guys. Same thing as our lunges, no rest when we switch sides. Switch right into it, come on. Big squeeze, active leg, that heel sweeps back. Giving that quad a break from those lunges. a squat into a toe drive. So it's a regular squat, driving up onto your toes, okay? Here we go. This is our first 60 second move today, driving up on those toes. Get nice and deep in that lunge, but you're not letting go at the bottom and just falling down. So you're still in control when you're at the bottom. Squeezing those glutes at the top when you drive up onto those toes. We're almost there, you guys. Come on. We've got about 10 more seconds here. Two hydrant lifts, one, two, right into two heel presses, squeezing the glute, okay? Set it up, here we go. Staying on the same side for 30 seconds, and just like our move one with the lunges, we do not rest in between when we switch sides. Pull that core in. Your leg never touches the ground once you start your lifts. Come on. Switch. Push through that heel, squeezing that glute. Press it back for one, knees down, two, 
Back into your butterfly. One, two, push it back. Full range of motion here. This is a 60 second move. Those knees never touching the ground. Almost there. Rest, stand it up. Sumo pulse with a reach. So you're gonna take that sumo stance, your toes are out, pointing out. You're gonna drop down and we're gonna reach side to side as we pulse, okay? Here we go. Pulse it up, down, whoo, 30 seconds. Intensifying the pulse the, on that side that we're reaching to. together, knees together. We're going to sit down at our squat here, chair squat. And now you're going to raise a toe. Alternate that toe raise. But stay in that squat position. Everybody's squat might look a little different. Maybe you can go a little deeper. Maybe you're a little higher, which is that bent knee, but your legs are still loaded, okay? Keep the legs loaded. Calf raise, squeeze that calf when you bring it up. Don't just come up on your toe. Squeeze the calf muscle, come on. Whew. You've got this, come on, 60 second move. second rest before we start round two. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. And we're going to head back into that first move, which was that squat, or I'm sorry, excuse me, that lunge with a multi-step. So let's get ready for it, you guys. Multi-step lunge, one leg. Here we go. Rushing through our movement. Switch legs, come on, no rest. This slide's significantly harder for me. Stay with it. Remember, no rest when we switch. Switch, let's go. Rest, 
All right, we have that squat into our toe drive. Squat into that toe drive. Whew. Here we go. Sixty second move. Almost there, guys. Come on. Awesome job, you guys. Let's bring it down to that tabletop position. We have that two hydrant lift into that uh, heel press combo, okay? So hydrant lift, heel press. Here we go. Two and two. One, two, back for two. Out for two, back for two. Come on, guys. two butterfly press outs and then those two hip drives back. This is our 60 second move. Looking good, guys. Come on, 15 seconds. That's it. Rest. All right, sumo pulse with that reach. So increasing the intensity side to side. Here we go, guys. Feeling the intensity increase on the side that you're reaching to. Rest. Let's set it up for that chair hold, alternating calf raise, okay? Whew. Here we go. Squeeze that cap. Don't just lift the heel up. Whew. 
little secret, you intensify that calf squeeze, takes your mind off your burning quads. Woo! Come on, less than 10. This left side was more challenging for me, so I'm gonna start with my left side. Starting with this side is more challenging. I have a hard time keeping my balance before it's pre-exhausted from the work on the right side. All right, guys, let's set it up, come on. Start with your weaker side. Here we go. Multi-step lunge. Awesome job, come on, we're almost there. Gonna go right into the other side. Switch. Focus on it. I squeeze so hard that I feel like my glute and my hamstring. Get ready to switch. Other side, let's go. And toe drive, squat and toe drive. Ooh, start to sweat. Here we go. Beautiful job, you guys.
手へ Awesome job, you guys. Sumo pulse with that reach. Whew. Here we go. Come on, stay with it. Oh, all right. We have that chair hold, alternating calf raise. Here we go. Sure those knees stay bent. You might not be as low in round three as you were in round one. But I want those knees bent and those legs loaded. Come on. some of these moves for your last round. Spicy might be really hard on some of these for me. Okay, let's get ready for it. Last time we have to do these bad boys, you guys. Get ready for it. Here we go. Multi-step lunge. Spice it up. I want you to pick your foot up a little bit higher. Like you're lifting your knee and you're going over a yoga block. Or a tiny little hurdle. As high as you can. Awesome job, you guys. We're getting ready to switch legs. Come on, we've got this. Spicing it up if you can. Whew. And if not, that is okay. Rest. 
All right. Now we have that high kick back to pulse it, or to pulse it up, to spice it up. I want you to stay high, not bringing that toe down to the ground. So it's tiny little pulses. Come on. Almost there, we're gonna switch legs, coming up. Switch legs, come on. Spicy if you can. Spice it up. We're going to pulse at the bottom of our squat. Here we go. So for spicy, we're down here. Give me a pulse. Bring it up. Toe drive, okay? Add that pulse if you can. Still pulsing with control, though. Weight's still back in your heels. Don't sacrifice your form trying to advance it. Cover those knees and we're going to do that butterfly press out for two and then the hip drive back for two. Same thing, adding that pause. So we'll hear one, two, pause, bring it in. One, two, right back down, no pause in our press back. Almost there. Woo! All right, bring it up. We have that sumo pulse. So, to spice it up, we're gonna add a toe drive to our pulse. So the side we lean into, the retreats, bleh, reach with. 
So bring it down, lift the toe, up, down, lift the toe, up. Double toe drive. Chair squat here. Double toe drive if you can. Significantly harder now that your legs are just straight up exhausted. Whew. Make sure those feet are together. Push those knees into each other. I just had to correct my form. Oh my gosh, you guys, come on, you've got this. Whether it's single or double, or even knock out a couple singles, and then give me a couple doubles if you can. You've got this. This is your final push. So you guys, that is it. Oh my gosh, my legs are fried. I love it. Okay, so make sure you have a good lower body stretch today, you guys. This workout is gonna make you sore, okay? And it's gonna be 10 times worse if you don't do some self-care and stretch it out, okay? Please give me a thumbs up if you like this workout and also share it with your friends. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.